It is so nice outside right now. It's, I kid you not, it's probably, I want to say 71 degrees. It is so nice. It feels like fall. Like, it feels like this is just, you know, it, it feels like it's approaching hoodie slash bonfire slash pumpkin weather. You know what I mean? Oh, this is nice. Uh... This week is almost over, and I'm super glad because my brain has been lagging behind the entire week. It's felt like a day behind, at least. Like it's kind of it's kind of weird because ever since Monday, my brain has been like, "Oh, is it is it Tuesday? Oh, is it Wednesday? Oh, is it Thursday?" And it's like I'm always a, I'm a day behind. But after you know, I'm hoping the the weekend will reboot my brainal system, as it were. Uh, today, I worked out ugh, for the second time in a row. <laughs> uh, when, when, when I move, it just, every, everything health and, like, workout related just goes straight out the window. So fast. It's, I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered with working out when I'm just stressing about moving. So, like... I think I might have worked out the day that things kind of... I haven't told you guys the story yet, but uh, when the events happened that caused me to start looking for new places to live, after that happened on that day, I just... I hadn't... I never worked out up until, like, yesterday. So, uh, yesterday, went to the gym... Got a good workout in. It, it kind of it stinks because it's really it's close to here. That's good. My gym is close, but I have to get up really early in order to get a good workout in. So I mean, it's not not stupid early, but really early for me. I've I, it's seven o'clock. I have to get up at seven o'clock. Uh, not a fan, but feels good. Feels good to you know be sore and actually feel good about, you know, doing something good for my body, <laughs> but, uh, I learned something. Okay. I'm, I, I didn't learn anything, but there's a personal opinion. I have a sneaking suspicion that working out does at least at the, you know, for the general, this, this isn't accurate by any means, but working out does more for your mental well-being than anything else and your diet does more for your body than anything else that's not accurate don't don't quote me on that that's not right but for me it like that i feel like that's the case for me like working out it makes me feel just great it makes me feel like you know i'm working out and you know i I can, you know, I can have a cheap meal every now and then, you know, it's fine because I work out, I work it off, you know, when I think the diet is what really gets your, gets your body in shape or at least helps because if you're working out and eat like crud all the time, then what's the point, you know, but if you're, you know, you don't even have to be working out, but if you diet if you like eat well and eat healthy and stuff like that and don't eat too much, then I think like your body would automatically start to slim down a bit. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Holy crud. That was a random tangent just then, but it was just a thought that popped in my brain. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. But, um, so yeah, worked out today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had another day of work. Then, let's see, what's... This evening, I... Right now, I'm going back home, and I'm going to grab my other library book, because I finished this book just a little bit ago, like 10 minutes ago. And so I'm going to drop it off at the library. And it's going to be good, because I had them when they were overdue. So, I'm I'm curious... How much I owe the library? I doubt it's going to be much. 
but still, you know, I, I'm like a very people pleasing type of guy. So to feel like just to, just to have that little aspect be not right. The fact that I've had overdue books, it just kind of, it's enough to, you know, rub me the wrong way, but it'll be fine. I'm not too stressed about it, but, um, then I might meet up with a buddy of mine. I don't know. We were kind of planning on getting together this week. It's already Thursday. And I was like, what does Wednesday or Thursday look like for you? Like for your schedule. And he was like, I could probably do Thursday. And I was like, sweet, when and where? And then he never got back to me. And <laughs> then today I was like, hey, I'm free anytime after six. You know? And then never responded. Then just a little bit ago, I was like, we still good for tonight? Haven't heard anything. So we'll see. I don't know. We might, uh, we might, uh, get together. We might not, but it's fine either way because it's like, Hey, if we don't, I get to go home and chill. If we do, then I get to hang with a buddy. So it's, it's a win-win for me either way. But anyway, I am going to go now. <laughs> we had rain this morning. That's, you know what? That's probably why it's so dang cool right now, like temperaturally speaking, because it rained this morning. That probably cooled it off a good bunch. Not that it was, you know, no, that can't be right either because it felt kind of a little, a little warmish today. I think if I remember correctly, like midday, maybe that was yesterday. I can't remember, but it rained. It was, it was good. I wish it rained more. But I think we're getting into the rain season. So that's good. Uh, totally change of subject. I don't know if I told you. I don't think I did tell you guys this. But I felt... Hang on, let me get my sunglasses here. It's a little, little bright. I felt my first earthquake a couple nights ago. It was the night before the insane Mexico City earthquake. That killed like 144 people. Like... The night before that happened, I felt an earthquake. I was talking with my uh, roommates. We were just chilling, talking. It was like, I can't remember what time it was. But I, it felt like a train was coming by. Like a, a big truck or a train or something was coming by the apartment. And I was like, dang, that must be a big truck or something like that. And then I was like, well, yeah, we don't really have a train that comes by, not that I know of at least, so, yeah, and then, like, the, the guys, I think, made some exclamations, like, oh, or something like that, and I was like, it kind of clicked in my brain, I was like, wait, is this an earthquake, and then my buddy, my, one of my roommates, 10, uh, was like, yeah, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's my first earthquake, I got a little too excited. Uh, it was, it was pretty much nothing. It pretty much just, it literally felt like a truck going by. Like it just, you know, but just, I mean, I don't, I'm not really scared of anything, right? I'm not, I don't really have fears. I don't, I don't, nothing really freaks me out. But to think about the actual ground shaking beneath my feet it's a little bit uh, <laughs> unnerving. It's a little intense. I just, it was a really weird sensation, feeling actual movement and picture the ground itself shaking. I don't know, it just made, it makes me feel really small. <laughs> but it's cool. Uh, apparently, I saw this article. I don't know how reliable, good grief, I'm way overexposed, I'm sorry. Uh, Saw this article that said that LA could be due for an 8.1 earthquake, which is a big earthquake. So I, so like, I guess, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still very unlearned in the way of earthquakes, but I, as far as I know, to my knowledge, 8.1 is a huge one. So that would pretty much wreck a good portion of things for LA 
from what the article said. It could be, it could potentially destroy if it destroys this gas line by Vegas. You know, it could uh, or in between here and Vegas, it could like destroy the power grid and it would like separate Southern California and stuff, and then it would like you know, it would break dams. So our water would be messed up and all that. I'm like, wow, that's cool. That's great. You know? Uh, Granted, my buddy Ten, I told him about that article that I read. And he was like, everybody's been... Like, LA's been... People have been predicting a huge earthquake for like 10 years or something. And it hasn't happened. So he's like... uh, And for that reason... I'm not because of that reason, but like... I have heard of the big one, which is like this tremendous earthquake that is bound to hit eventually. And if this 8.1 earthquake is the same as the big one, I mean, then I'm I'm not I'm not stressing one way or another. We could get two different, you know, earthquakes, and I would be you know fine. But okay, I wouldn't be fine. It would be a little unnerving. But like I want here's the thing. I hope I feel another earthquake so I can face my fears because I'm not I'm not I'm not afraid of earthquakes but I've never felt anything is this the right street that I'm turning on no it's not I don't think it is it's so bright I can't see oh no it is hey but um like nothing had you know it was kind of nuts how I felt after the dang earthquakes I'm like I need another one so I can overcome this and come out stronger on the other side. Now, I'm not saying that I want the big one to hit, but um, knowing that everybody's been, oh, the big one's coming, like, predicting it for years, it's a little reassuring that I was like, okay, so it's not bound to happen. Not that I was, like, sweating, like, oh my goodness, is it coming? Will it hit next week? Oh my goodness, what, should I prepare? Should I get, like, bottled water? I'm not, like, well, I wasn't doing that. And I even, even if they did predict that, I wouldn't. I would not do that. Uh, just because everybody would be telling me to. And I don't do, like, my instinct is to do the opposite of what people tell me to do. But anyway, that's, that's besides the point. Point is, uh, I felt an earthquake for the first time, and, uh, no clue about this other big one. I'm not too worried about it, but, uh, with all the crud, sorry, I'm blocking the screen, uh, with all the crud that's been going down, though, in the world, what with fires and crazy multiple hurricanes and, uh, now this Mexico City earthquake is like, who knows what could happen, man? Like, I wouldn't put it out of the question, but anyway, man alive, what a ramble, what a ramble. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.